Hi, I'm Lorelai Day with the City of San Angelo. I'm here at San Angelo Regional Airport and I'm joined by Mayor Brenda Gunter and Airport Director Jeremy Valgardson. So we have some big news. San Angelo has secured an additional airline and destination. Mayor, let's start off with you. Um, can you tell us how this came to be and what all it took to make it happen? Well, as mayor, one of the things that the citizens ask me on a regular basis is help us. Please get us another airline or a flight to Houston. They weren't particular about whether it was with American Airlines adding Houston to the routes or whether it was a different airline. But we knew as a market based off of the citizens' constant comments on it that we needed a second airline, or if I should say it better, a connection to Houston. So with that, I became uh, very well aware of the need and knew that in order to get another airline interested, we needed to get our ducks in a row. And when we needed to get our ducks in a row, it meant the following. We needed to develop a master plan because a master plan would show us the opportunities. It would define why another airline could be successful here because they would do the statistical analysis that would prove it up. And we needed those numbers in order to share with another airline so that they would become interested in the San Angel market. We also realized that in order to really secure an economic base here, we needed transportation options. And when you talk about transportation options, you have to talk about more than one single destination, or that is from San Angelo to Dallas. We have a great tourism market here. We have a good business market that has tremendous ties to the Houston market. And we know that people also want to know that flying is affordable. And so competition is always good. With that economic development master plan, we were able to put together a story to share with airlines and talk to them about why an airline could be successful here in this market. We need a strong economic development base and transportation is always the first step to securing a strong base and a quality of life for the citizens in San Angelo. So we've been pursuing a second airline for years now. What would you say changed in making that happen? The conversation changes constantly um, based off of the economy and in some of the past efforts we were um, handicapped because for example in 2008 there was a big financial crisis, so most airlines were not interested at all in expansion. San Angelo has continued to grow, and so with its growth, it has presented an opportunity for additional service. And whether that is for the tourism market, we have a huge hunting market here, so we have a lot of people who come here, fly in here for the hunting opportunities that exist. We have an international lily garden, so you have an international crowd that comes here. Um, and there's just, that's just a couple of examples of reasons why we thought that we could support another airline. But again, we had to get our ducks in a row. We had to do a strong evaluation of this airport, of our market, of the business community, and just the tourism industry, because we can't ask an, an, uh, an airline to be a part of this community and a part of this airport if it does not make financial sense to them. And if I can add to that, Lorelai, I think um, the airlines know the data. They know what airports are going to be profitable. They know which routes are going to be profitable. And having that master plan data that the mayor talked about really helped support that. But what it really took was the, the community need. The mayor took time out of her schedule to go and talk to the airlines and to show them as an elected official, here's what our community needs. They hear from airport directors and economic development directors all day long. What they don't hear is the community connection. And so, so taking the mayor... Um, to speak to the airlines to show, look, I'm invested in San Angelo. Um, I speak for the people. We need a second carrier. I think that's really what gave them the boost to consider San Angelo. I'm a passionate person, and I love being able to sell San Angelo. And I think we had a, a great window of opportunity to help sell San Angelo to an airline. And um, they were open to the conversation, and they were so surprised by some of the information that we presented and they basically said the following, San Angelo has changed so much since the last time we talked to you. It looks like San Angelo is a different place. We're very interested. 
So that economic development strategy, planes, trains, and automobiles, which I have been talking about for three and a half years, um, became an important strategy as we sat and talked to an airline about coming to San Angelo. Jeremy, I want to ask you this. Um, when pursuing another airline, what's taken into consideration um, by potential airlines that might come here? Um, they, they always like load factors. High load factors, high profitability. That's what, what really drives them. Um, and like I was saying earlier, they, they know that data. They knew the San Angelo, when, when the master plan was done, we had 90% load factors, which was extremely high. We had 50% leakage um, within 150 miles of San Angelo. They're going to other airports, flying out of other airports, um, because we, we only had one route to Dallas. Um, so they wanted some more availability. And so they, they like the high load factors and the profitability, and then they like that community outreach. When we make a partnership and a relationship with the airlines, it's not just we're going to come and fly and, and make money off you guys. They're going to they're gonna develop a relationship with us. You're going to see more marketing, advertising, more community um, impact from these airlines that come and, and be part of our community. So like I said, I'm bringing the mayor, economic development, and city managers with us. They can see that there's a real community touch here at the airport, and it's not just dollar signs. Uh, Mayor, why would you say it's, an import it's important for us to have a second connection here? My strategy has been planes, trains, and automobiles and offering transportation options. If we are to continue to grow San Angelo, if we are going to continue to have a quality of, quality of life here in San Angelo, transportation options are paramount to making those things happen. We must have those options and another airline and or another flight to Houston. Again, for us, it's not just about pursuing another airline. It was pursuing flight destinations, meaning not just to Dallas, but to Houston, which is also a huge market. And people were very frustrated with San Angelo in that they had to fly to Dallas to get to Houston. And so we needed to provide our citizens other options. We needed to offer our business community other options. We needed to offer the tourism industry other options. So it was really a catalyst uh, conversation about the opportunities that exist and the need we have here, but also an opportunity for another airline or another route to be offered. At the end of the day, in order to be successful, that airline must have high load factors because if we don't have high load factors, they will come and go. And we needed a solid base and a solid commitment from the mayor, myself, city management, Costa DC, or economic development partners, Jeremy, who has done a terrific job of managing our airport. But all of us have to be committed because if we're not, the airline won't be successful and we'll lose the route. What would you say a connection to Houston would mean for our citizens and our business community? Options not only in travel, but price. You hope that when there's competition, the competition will not only be for routes, but for ticket prices. So we needed both. And there are many people who don't want to have to fly to Dallas to get to Houston and some other markets. And we also knew the following, that customers, um, we're finding, or I should say citizens, as Jeremy said, leakage was high here in San Angelo. So many of our citizens were going to other markets to fly out of. And we want to stop that. We need our airport to be successful. We want the planes to be full. And leakage is one of our greatest nightmares. The leakage over the past 10 years has been significant. And it is because we had no options in price or destination. Jeremy, I'm going to ask you this one. Can you give us a little background on our airport and what airline we currently have, how many flights, how many connections, just for a little bit of reference for people who don't know? Sure. Yeah, we, we've got a fantastic airport. We're, we're really a business-generated airport. Most of our traffic, believe it or not, the commercial service um, is only about 5% of our daily traffic. Most of our tra traffic is business and general aviation. Um, we have a very sustainable airport, and we are part of the FAA's program. We receive federal money and federal funding to, to keep the terminal, the runways and taxiways improved. Um, this terminal currently um, provides service to DFW. 
uh, through American Airlines. So right now they're our only carrier with the sole connection through Dallas-Fort Worth. Shifting gears a little bit, can you talk about how the airport has been affected and weathered this pandemic? It's been a challenge, as it's been for everybody. Um, fortunately, we, we've been a little, we've done a little bit better than the national average. We continue to maintain about 50 to 80 percent load factors on any given day. The national average was down; they had about 30 percent load factors when the pandemic hit. National average is starting to catch up; they're sitting around 50 percent load factors. Um, we've been, we've our employments are down 70% year over year. So it's really been a challenge. However, we've been able to adapt. Like I said, the, the commercial traffic is only 5% of our business. The general aviation, business aviation is continuing to grow. We saw a little bit of, of a spike um, during the pandemic. Um, so the, the airports continued to be sustainable. Um, and, and might I say with the pandemic, something we learned, Mayor, is that we're, we're focusing more on a leisure travel, a leisure travel market. And we learned that, that people from San Angelo like to get out. They like to go and they like to travel and they like to play. And I think that this route to Houston is gonna help with that leisure travel. Right now, a lot of the leisure travel is using the business jet and the corporate aviation. I think with the second route, we, like the mayor is saying, we're providing more options. They can fly out of San Angelo and this route's really gonna open up our South America, um, our Mexico market. Um, a lot more opportunity on the other side of the border to go through Houston. Okay. Uh, now, you touched on this, but can you talk about our airport as a whole and what the main economic driver is? Sure, yeah. Um, like I said, this thing, it's, it's, a, it's a big economic driver, an indirect economic driver for the community. Um, there was an economic development study that went out in 2018 from TxDOT. Through that, we learned that we had over nearly 500 jobs generated directly from the airport with a $31 million output. An indirect benefit of about $1,200, or excuse me, of about 1200 employees with a little over 123 million in economic output. So we recognize, the mayor recognizes that, that this airport is an economic driver. There's a very biased um, but popular saying that I like to say, it's, it's heard a lot in the industry, but a mile of road out there will get you a mile out in the community. A mile of runway will get you anywhere in the world. And that means that we can really open up our community for business development. Um, we, we now have more flight options to be able to get people in to use our one mile of asphalt that'll take you anywhere in the world. Okay, uh, very important question. When can we expect this connection to Houston to begin? We believe the flight to Houston will start towards the end of April, sometime in the third or fourth week of April. And I also just want to add to the follow to Jeremy's comments, and that is, is that the airport is an economic develop, development tool. And as council and mayor, um, one of the first things that we did is, uh, after I was elected mayor was to come up with a strategy in terms of maximizing all of our assets. And one of our greatest assets is this airport. It can do more for this community than any other single asset that we have. And yet we weren't able to maximize this airport because we were limited in terms of service. We were limited in terms of destinations. We were impacted by the cost of flying. And so in order to really maximize this airport, we needed to pursue, pursue options. And those options, as we've said, were an additional destination and competition for better value and ticket pricing. Well, we're very excited to have this connection. Um, is there anything else that either of you wanted to talk about? make sure when we have this flight available that we support it. That's the number one challenge that we have. The citizens and the business community have constantly said we need a flight to Houston. Well, now's your opportunity. Let's show the airline that we support and we back them. Okay, thank you both so much. Uh, again, we're excited for this. So for the city of San Angelo, I'm Lorelai Day.